This is Somaliland, a country in the Horn of Africa. More than 25 years ago, this place separated from Somalia and declared independence. They have been building their country without outside help, and they tell you on every opportunity that they are not part of Somalia. Are you from Somalia or Somaliland? My, no, it's Somalia, like it's Somaliland. Somaliland. Are you from Somalia or Somaliland? I am Somaliland. 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 No, Somali, Somaliland. Somaliland. For 30 years, people here paid the price for a terrible mistake. In June 1960, Britain left its occupied part of Somalia called Somaliland and gave them independence. But months later, the people of Somaliland decided to join Somalia and build a strong and democratic country. Somalia had just gained its own independence from Italy. So basically, you gave Somalia a chance yeah. for 40 years yeah. to live together, uh, yeah. uh, in 30 years, to yeah. live together in real partnership yeah. and in a democratic place. But what you got in return was this, bombings and killings. Yeah, we were victimized, basically. And then in 1991, when the government collapsed, we had been fighting against the government for, uh, you know, 10 years. And when finally it collapsed, our people decided to leave the union because that wasn't serving any purpose at all. You know, the net result of the union was total destruction and displacement. And our people, you know, came together and said, well, that's enough. The dream of living with Somalia in democracy and real partnership turned into a nightmare. The central government of Somalia turned its army and police against the people of Somaliland. The government of former dictator Mohamed Siad Barri launched a genocide campaign against the people and tribes of the north, which peaked in 1987 and 1988, killing more than 100,000 people. This airplane was responsible for bombing the capital Hargeisa in 1988 and has now been put in the city center as a reminder of the atrocities of the former Somali regime. In every corner of Somaliland, there is a mass grave. A commission has been established to dig up the graves and identify the victims. Abdul Rashid is a board member of the commission he says they have identified more than 200 mass graves across Somaliland. One of the graves is near the airport outside Hergisa, where 19 people are buried. In one of them, there is the body of a father and his son.
The people of Somaliland were no match for Somalia's superior military. But in the end, a bloody civil war broke out in Somalia. It pitched many groups and tribes against each other and ousted dictator Siad Berri. Somaliland seized the opportunity and broke away in May 1991. Famous Somaliland singer Sahra Halgan, who was once a guerrilla fighter and a nurse, returned home after 30 years in France, and she encourages all Somalilanders abroad to return and rebuild their country. <laughs> The population of Somaliland today is around 5 million, and nearly 1 million live in Europe and North America. Many of them have returned home since independence and are contributing to this country one way or another. This man and his partners are building a bank. This place is providing bricks, windows and doors. And this one is being turned into a supermarket by an investor from neighboring Djibouti. And in the market you will find many local fruits and vegetables. What is this? Guava. Is it from where? Hargisa. And this? And this? Hargisa. So this? No, this and this Hargisa. That's Mesr, that's Beirut. What else? France. And this? Hargisa. And the watermelon? Nice. One place that is a major contributor to Somaliland's economy is this market in the capital, Hargeisa. Herders and traders come here to buy and sell sheep, goats, camels and cows. Hassan Ibrahim comes here every day to buy sheep and sell them back. Today he has bought 25 sheep. Sometimes he buys as many as 200 in a single day and sells them back on the spot. Cattle have been such an integral part of the economy here that even the name of the capital, Hergesa, means animal skin. Somaliland has close to 18 million cattle. From here, camels, goat and sheep are loaded on boats and ships and transported to the Arab Gulf states. 
Most of the sheep and camels slaughtered by Muslim pilgrims in Mecca come from Somaliland. But in this part of the world, there is a constant looming threat, drought. It hasn't rained here for more than a year and millions of animals have died. When their animals die, the villagers have no choice but to move to the bigger cities. And The Somaliland government itself cannot keep up with the pressure. That's why many foreign organizations have come in to help. This morning, I've come with a Finnish organization named Doctors for Social Responsibility to a hospital in Hergesa. Somaliland Foreign Minister Saad Ali Shira says they are not dividing Somalia. They have only taken back the independence they once had. Especially because you voluntarily joined Somalia. Yes, it's yes. not that you are separating from Somalia. Yes, yes. We voluntarily joined. We were not forced by anyone at all. And we voluntarily left the Union. You know? And this is not the first time this, has, this, this, was, this happened in Africa. There were other instances, for example, Senegal and Gambia. They joined as two independent countries and then separated as two independent countries. As you know, there was a union between Syria and Egypt at one point, and they separated again, you know, peacefully. And, and even there were cases where, like Sudan, you know, where you had <coughs> one country, uh, which now is two, uh, peacefully separated. I mean, they had a war for a long time, but the separation was negotiated and they separated and that did not cost the Pandora box. Somaliland's efforts to build a state are not only in words. The country has its own army, police and security forces and there are strict rules against civilians carrying arms. The flag of Somaliland flies everywhere and the country has its own currency and passport. The process people here have started to build their own state is gaining momentum day after day and is impossible to reverse. This is the parliament of Somaliland, on a busy street near the presidential palace. This parliament is one thing that Somaliland is proud of, in front of the international community. The 82 members of this house represent different political parties and tribes. 
tribal politics isn't a shame here. It is, in fact, one of the reasons of their success. Happy, we have government, the government which not ha, ha, got no organization, but we are happy, peaceful. Our government, we have our flag, our currency, our president, our ports, our yeah, everything. We are separate, so we are happy. The people of Somaliland also claim they are older than most of their African kin. And for that, they lean against the stone walls of Las Gil Cave outside Hergesa. In Somali language, Las Gil means the Camel Water Well. It is located on a rocky mountain and the people who lived here more than 4,000 years ago have left behind paintings of animals that must have once lived here. drive from here you will see a different side to Somaliland, the sea. Somaliland has more than 800 miles of pristine beaches. It is true, pirates have kept cargo ships and tourists hundreds of miles away from the Somali shores. But the people and government here want the world to come and discover these untouched treasures. More significant than the beaches is the city of Berbera itself which has been for many years Somaliland's gateway to the outside world. The food, the culture and architecture are proof of Berbera's rich history. Some of the buildings were built by the British. One mosque is left from the time of the Ottomans and the airport is the legacy of the Soviet Union. It is from this port that Somaliland exports its livestock every year and fishermen anchor in its calm waters. For years this place barely functioned and ships and boats rotted away in the salt waters. But these days all eyes are on Berbera. The United Arab Emirates is spending millions of dollars expanding the port and is building a 250 kilometer road from here to the Ethiopian border. Each kilometer is costing one million dollars. In return, the Somaliland parliament has allowed the United Arab Emirates to build a military base here. Foreign Minister Saad Ali Shira reassures everyone that a foreign military base 
would not end Somaliland's neutrality and peaceful intentions towards its neighbors. Not at all, not at all. I mean, for the past 25 years, you know, we didn't cause any trouble in Somalia. We don't, that's not our intention. In fact, our vision is a peaceful, stable region which is economically integrated in this part of the world. That's our vision. So we mean no harm to anyone. We don't mean harm any, even to Somalia, despite all the suffering that, you know, we, you know, that, uh, that, that we experience. The people of Somaliland hope this partnership with the UAE marks the beginning of formal recognition of their country by the Arab world. Allah Akbar. Ninety-nine percent of people here are Muslims, and there are deep cultural and religious ties between them and the Muslim world. It's time for diplomatic and political relations. Somaliland understands that instability, war and piracy in the region makes its position more important and more valuable for the outside world and for this it relies on the future generations. People and government here are certain and optimistic that that day will come.